From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. General Albert Pike was born in December of 1809. He was exceptionally bright and allegedly accepted into Harvard, although he didn't have the money to attend. Today, Pike is remembered as a pioneer in the early courts of Arkansas, a Confederate officer during the Civil War, and a central figure in the development of Freemasonry. He's still the only Confederate officer with a statue in Washington, D.C. History is divided on Pike. He's been called a genius, a villain, and an occultist. But that's not all there is to this story. Some people believe Albert Pike was more than just a lawyer and a general. Much, much more. Here's where it gets crazy. Depending on who you ask, Albert Pike may have been the leader of the Ku Klux Klan, a Satan worshiper, or even the king of the Freemasons. In The Unseen Hand, A. Ralph Epperson argues that a great deal of historical events have been planned in advance. Epperson believed that Albert Pike was at the center of this conspiracy and the highest ranking Mason in the United States, or possibly the world. Pike is also accused of being a member of the Illuminati and a harbinger of a coming new world order. The stories about Pike's alleged occultism and villainy are both varied and, to a large degree, impossible to prove. For example, some claimed he had a magic bracelet that allowed him to commune with the devil. Others claimed that he helped found the Ku Klux Klan, or that President Andrew Johnson considered Pike his Masonic superior. Masonic databases deny the allegations about Pike and the Klan, but that hasn't stopped conspiracy theorists, especially anti-Masonic theorists, from making this claim. Anti-Masonists believe that Freemasons have destroyed most of the records proving Pike's involvement in sinister affairs. However, one claim takes attention over all the others. In 1871, Pike allegedly sent a letter to an Italian political activist named Giuseppe Mazzini, in which he describes a curious dream about three world wars. In this letter, Pike apparently outlines specific events leading up to World Wars I and II. Additionally, Pike pushed for the organization of communism, Nazism, Zionism, and other international movements as tools to escalate these conflicts. According to this letter, the Illuminati will provoke a third world war by creating religious conflicts in the Middle East. After this war is ended, the letter claims that nihilist and atheist will create bloody turmoil, leading the world's disillusioned masses to follow Lucifer. For those who believe this conspiracy theory, Pike's letter accurately predicts the course of world events. However, there are several problems with this letter, and the vast majority of historians believe it's a hoax. Why? First, there's the use of anachronistic terms like Nazi, an abbreviation of National Socialist Party, which wasn't coined until decades later. Secondly, a notorious French prankster known as Leo Taxel confessed to the hoax, claiming that he had penned this letter himself. Third, claims about the letter have expanded over time, including the addition of new material or misquotations of the original letter. Fourth, Albert Pike was a lifelong proponent of states' rights or small government. It seems odd that someone so against federal power would work to make a one-world government. Yet conspiracy theorists such as Edith Starr Miller and William Guy Carr believe the hoax claims are simply an attempt to bury the truth. For those who believe this letter is genuine, the claims of skeptics and historians are only further evidence that there's something they don't want you to know about Albert Pike. <laughs>